Continuing our review, in this problem we're asked to multiply <clears throat> this monomial by this polynomial. That's just a matter of applying the distributive property. So the x squared will have to multiply each of the terms in the polynomial. So complete the multiplication. Here we'll have five x's multiplied together times the two. That's the two x to the fifth power. This is a negative because it's a positive times a negative, and there will be four x's that are multiplied together, minus five x squared plus, oops, plus uh, nine x squared. Oh, look at that. We've got some like terms. Let's combine the like terms. Oh, that was a mistake, because it's not x squared times five, it's x squared times five x. Let's clean that up. Okay, that's better. We had the x squared times the 5x would have made x squared times 5x is 5x cubed. And then we've got plus the 9x squared. That's the final answer. In this problem, we're asked to carry out a long division, either to carry out this division either by long division or synthetic division. We'll look at both. So with long division, this is x plus 2 divided into the 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. So we need to find something that will times x and give us 3x squared. That's going to be 3x. So 3x times x will be the 3x squared and 3x times 2, re remember we've got to take this times this entire binomial and see what we've got. So that gives us the 3x squared plus 6x. We're going to need to subtract that amount, so we will change the sign and add. So adding these terms, this is going to be 0 and this is going to be a minus 4x. We now bring down this next value, which will be a minus 8. And we ask the question, what do we need to multiply x by to get a minus 4x? That will be a minus 4. And a minus 4 times x plus 2 is going to be a minus 4x minus 8. Again, we change the signs and add. Changing the signs and adding, this gives us a remainder of 0. That means that x plus 2 is a factor of this. Now let's complete the same division problem with synthetic division. Here's the setup for synthetic division. We look at this binomial with a leading coefficient of 1, and we take the opposite of this number. That's the same as changing the sign when we're, when we're adding. Uh, when we're changing the sign and adding to do the subtracting. So this 2 becomes a negative 2 here, and the 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 is this code right here. This stands for 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. The steps in synthetic division is to bring down this 3. That 3 represents this 3 right here in this division. when we need to know what we'd have to multiply x by to get 3x squared. So we bring down that 3. Then from there on, the pattern is very simple. We minus 2 times 3 will give us a minus 6.
The x plus 2 is represented here as the minus 2. And of course the remainder shows up here.